in Aquaverse, a little bit closer to Pattaya and therefore closer to Bangkok as well. I think both of them are guaranteed to have a good day out and then you're bound to get wet at some point. When I woke up this morning, the skies were blue, it was 32 degrees and I was ready for a hot day cooling off at the water park. In fact, I packed my 50 plus SPF suntan lotion, especially for the event, and now I've arrived. Never mind, in this video, I want to review the two water parks in Pattaya. One of them <laughs> is Ramayana Water Park, which is where I am now, and the water's actually spilling outside into the parking lot. And they say on their website that this is the biggest water park in Thailand, rated on TripAdvisor as the number one water park in Thailand, the number two water park in the whole of Asia. Let's see whether it lives up to the hype. Now, the first thing to do is to compare about the price. But I found out that actually the cheapest deal can be had by going on the official website, as I did when I booked my ticket. And I can tell you that there's so many different discounts available, it's actually a bit complicated. They have discounts for people who are students, they have discounts for Thai people, they have discounts for expats, they have discounts for seniors, they have discounts because there's a Y in the day. Well, maybe they don't. Don't book the first price available because there's surely going to be a cheaper one. Just to give you a ballpark figure for adults, the cheap tickets seem to be about 699 baht for a day. Regular tickets seem to be about 999 baht for the day. They do say that the normal price is over a thousand baht for the day. But with all of those discounts, there must be one that applies to you. So another so. day and another water park. And this is Aquaverse, Columbia Pictures Aquaverse. And this is the new kid on the block, so to speak. Well, actually not so new, because previously I came here when it was branded as Cartoon Network Amazon. It's recently reopened, and Columbia Pictures have made it their first water park, I think, in the world that is based on their most famous movies. One real place where Aquaverse might have an advantage is it opens at 10 o'clock in the morning rather than 11 o'clock, which is what Ramayana opened at. One thing I will tell you though is looking on their website, there doesn't seem to be as many promotions or cheap deals available on their website, particularly for foreigners. And the best price that I could find was around 990 baht, where there are special offers for adults at Ramayana that could get you down to 690 or even 590 baht. It's not particularly foreigner friendly on their Facebook page because all of their explanations are in Thai language and for some reason they don't appear to have an English translation with it. If Aquaverse are watching this and they want an English translator, I'm available. I'm really cheap. So one of the differences between Thailand and some other countries like the UK for example is it was pouring down with rain, thunder and lightning. They couldn't open the park at 11 o'clock at the correct time. But within 30 minutes, everything's drying off and now it's turned into a beautiful hot sunny day. A bit of a walk from where you come in reception through to where the rides are. You can see there beautifully kept gardens, lots of greenery. It's very pleasant. I mean, some people come here, it's a cheaper rate, obviously, if you don't join the rides, and some people do come here just to actually have a nice day in a beautiful park. When you come inside Aquaverse, you'll notice straight away that it's nowhere near as big as Ramayana. So if you like the park feeling of Ramayana with the green grass and the trees, then this is not the same. It's much, much smaller in terms of its footprint. And also you just come in and it's straight into the rides. It's a bit of a concrete jungle in many respects. And if you're not gonna join in with all of the rides, then it's probably not as nice to look at as Ramayana is. They have the same sort of idea. You buy a ticket and you get a wristband which has a QR code on and that QR code is going to be what you use to buy things and to get into your locker, assuming that you put all your valuables in your locker. And just a word on the lockers, and you get the locker by paying money on your wristband, and then you can open the locker anytime during the day. They also have the toilets and the showers there for you to use at any time. You can hire a towel here as well. That is 100 baht, but they ask for a deposit of 300 baht, I guess in case you run off with their towel. 
The lockers are a bit better organised in Ramayana than here because they have lockers in between the male and the female toilets, which means if you come with a friend, then the locker is available to both of you. Where here at Aquaverse, you either have to choose a locker in the gents area or in the ladies. So you cannot get changed and use the locker if you come with a friend. Well, I don't think you can. So this is one of the biggest restaurants at Ramayana. It seems to have changed a bit since I was last here. It used to be one big restaurant with a waiter and waitress service. Now it's turned into more of a food court style where there's three or four different types of cuisine that you can have. You can have pizza, you can have noodles, you can have Thai food or European food. And again, you pay with the electronic wallet. That's the QR code on your wrist. And I tried the food earlier today and it was absolutely delicious. So this is called the Family Zone and it says here only kids with adults are allowed to use Aqua Play. Adults on their own unfortunately are not allowed to use it. Well, there's discrimination for you. Let's find some children to take on here, can we? And you can rent one of these, uh, a big area. Certainly if you came with a family or a group, it would be nice to have your own area. They're saying here, for rent, only 1,900 baht. Maybe you can get a discount if you book in advance. So these cabanas are a good idea because not only do you get to shelter from the sun, but you've also got a private area where you can get changed. And I see there's also a safety box in the corner, so rather than get a locker, if you can shell out the extra, having one of these is going to make life a lot more straightforward. And the idea really is to carry the absolute minimum around, although I see on some of the rides that I've been on, you can take an action camera and you can take your phone if it's in a waterproof bag, so you can get some great pictures. So something I don't remember them having when it was Cartoon Network was the Bad Boys Race Club, which is a go-kart circuit here at Aquaverse. Bad Boys Race Club, Bad Boys in Patio. I can't imagine they're gonna find too many of those. I'm forever blowing bubbles. It's definitely a song that they should be thinking around here. Yeah. <laughs> no idea what it's made of, but... So there's no tuk-tuk to get down from Bangkok or Pattaya to get here. In fact, this morning I came down in a Bolt taxi. What else do you need to know before you come here? Well, first of all, what are you going to bring? Well, you need to bring something to wear because you're going to get wet, that's absolutely sure. So there's lots of people going around in their bathing costumes, people wearing shirts like this that can get wet. And probably it's worth bringing a towel with you because otherwise it's 100 baht to hire a towel. 
Other than that, you probably need some suitable footwear, although you're not allowed to wear any form of shoes to get onto the rides. You leave those outside, but most people are wearing flip-flops or sandals that you can get wet and it's not going to get damaged. So that is Ramayana Water Park, and I think it's probably the original one in Patia. Everything is well set up and well run, and it's also got so much space that you really do feel like you're walking through a park and there's plenty of places to relax as well as join in with the water fun. So this one is Aquaverse, a little bit closer to Patia in there, for closer to Bangkok. I think both of them are guaranteed to have a good day out. And then you're bound to get wet at some point.